like Azar. Gabriel sent us this. Those are big deals, okay? Now, first of all, let's remind ourselves. What type of amine is this? Primary, secondary, tertiary? Primary. This is a primary amine. Okay? You know, secondary amines? Tertiary amines, yes? And the other one, what is it called? It's called a quaternary, quaternary. ammonium salt. Okay? this case, okay? Amines, are they acidic or basic? Basic. basic. Amines are basic because they have pair. this long pair here, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, protonated amines. So these amines are basic and they're difficult to depronate, but pronated amines have different pKa's. Now, as you have there, the different numbers, you have a protonated amine like this, and the pKa of this is how much? Tell me. Hello. You guys did not print it? 1.7. Very nice. 4.6. What? 5.3. I actually didn't understand. It's 5.3 professor. Yes, you did. And that's why I'm, that's why you're supposed to print it. That's why you're supposed to print it, so you make notes on the notes that you already have. Okay, because I know you're not going to understand half of this thing that I wrote here. I'm clarifying it for you. I condensed it. You know what the condensed electron configuration is? Yeah. So, the pKa for this is 4.6. Do you have to know this pKa? I don't care. I don't care you memorize this. I'm already asking you to memorize like a ton of stuff. What I care is that you know that if I put an electron with the drawing group on the ring in the pair position, what is that going to do to the pKa? It's going to lower the pKa. Just like it did for what? Aromatic rings. Yeah, they were aromatic rings, but, but what were they? Carboxylic acids, yes? They were carboxylic acids or no? What were they? Or they were phenols. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? Once you put an electron withdrawing element, it will make the acidic protons more acidic. Okay? Now, if you put on it an electron pushing, what is that going to do? It is going to make this less acidic. So what you have to know is electron withdrawing groups make it more acidic like you did before and electron pushing groups make it less, less acidic. Okay, pKa of this is around one or two, yes? pKa of this is five or six. Like I said, the number doesn't matter. I wrote the numbers there so you know. I don't even know them myself. This is preparations of amines from before, okay? And let's say we have this. And we treat this with sodium cyanide, what do we get? 
CN. I was gonna draw on Ben's <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. No, we have an extra carbon. That's good. That's fine. Yeah, you're good. Getting used to extra carbons all the time, huh? Just react. And now, how do I make an amine from here? I have to undergo reduction. reduction. Yes. I can undergo reduction with things like lithium aluminum hydride, or I can do H2 and platinum or palladium or nickel, yes? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have things in the notes, lithium aluminum hydride, good morning. And you are consistently late to class. If it wasn't because I liked you so much, Sophia, <laughs> I would say something. I say to that girl all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she was early today. She was early today? Very early. Because she's sick, that's why she didn't make any noise today. You're sick, right? I stayed up late watching the videos. I did not sleep that, that night because the computer kept making noise in my room at night. Just so you can have the videos on time. I did not sleep. That was two nights ago. Anyway, no one cares whether I sleep or not, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, we treat this with thionyl chloride. Yes? Yeah. What are we going to get from there? The CL, CL in place of the OH. Azeal halide. What can we do from there? We can make this. Okay. We can make this an amide, NH3, excess, why excess? Everything is excess. No. It's a We do it in excess because we need some type of base to get this HCl out, yes? Right. And so, excess of that, and it will give us. The amide. What do we do from there? Hello? Reduce it. <coughs> Reduce it with? Is this lithium aluminum hydride? Yeah. Yeah. So let's say that. And what we are going to get is. Check if that's the answer, guys. So maybe yes. I missed it. Yes. Maybe I missed stuff. And this is electrophilic aromatic substitution, yes? Nitric acid, sulfuric acid. This is conditions for nitration. And I am going to reduce this with what? Okay. I can use iron, I can use zinc. I think we did zinc, yes? Yeah. But it's a metal, okay? Mm -hmm. Metal, an H3O plus. Stuff from before, yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. We can also use palladium and, and platinum, okay? So here we have a nucleophile. This nucleophile is going to attack the <coughs> alkyl halide. What type of reaction would that be? Substitution. What, which type? SN2. This would be SN2, okay? It attacks it. That attacks that. That leaves. One of the H's leaves. And then it attacks another one and another one. So what you get in the first step is... What you get in the first step is this. Let's say, as a product without pronation. And then it undergoes another one. And what you get is this. And then it undergoes another one. And what you get is this. And then it undergoes another one. So it is somewhat difficult. This 
That's a plus, yes? Mm -hmm. It is somewhat difficult to stop the reaction. Maybe it's the battle. <laughs> you raised the glass. <laughs> it's not you. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> I thought you were talking to me in another lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I raised the Bible. <laughs> I raised the Bible. <laughs> oh, we're in the church here. All right. <laughs> I'm going to miss this class. That's okay. Oh, we're going to miss you, professional. Oh, thank you, Barry. Oh, oh, oh. Don't cry. Do you hear that? All the girls. Oh. <laughs> okay. A side. Synthesis. What's A side? Have we had this before? No. I think we did before. No. I told you that I looked for a file. Do you remember this A side? I think you mentioned it. I mentioned it. I don't remember. I remember. I don't remember. Okay, anyway, this is like this. Sodium azide, which is N3 minus. Uh, what are the formal charges on this thing? Formal charge here is plus. Formal charge here is minus. Formal charge there is minus. So that plus and that minus cancel out, and we have an overall negative charge. That is a Nucleophile, yes? Mm -hmm. So, what does it like to attack? It likes to attack alkyl halides. So, if we treat an alkyl halide, uh, whatever alkyl halide, the sodium azide, what is it going to give you? I said NH3? Yeah. I said that? Yeah. No, you guys misheard that. <laughs> because you don't listen with your eyes, yes? Look, it's N3. Whatever, sometimes I... Okay, N3. That's not an amine, yes? No. So how do we get an amine from that? We have to, once again, reducing agents like what? So, if you don't know, yes, I mean, you might not remember something on the test, but let's say that you have to treat this with a reducing agent and you know you got to reduce this or you got to use a reducing agent to this, what would be your guess you should use? Would that be your guess? Not, not, not rainy nickel, okay? I don't think you use rainy nickel too many times. Mm -hmm. No, Wolf Kishner. Rainy nickel is for silver. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would we use here? We would use. We would use lithium aluminum hydride. Okay? What? Uh, you mean H, H2 on palladium? You probably could. Uh, H2. You know, in general, H2 on palladium is not used because H2 on palladium requires high temperatures and high pressures. So if you were cooking methamphetamine in your house, you know, even though that may be a good reaction, clean, you'd require pressure and heat. So you'd rather use something that it's not so aggressive. You need equipment for that. Yeah. So. That's that. Of course, we treat this with lithium aluminum hydride, and then, of course, you have a negative charge somewhere, yes? But you have to quench so in the first step and the second step, water. And H2 and palladium, once again, can do it too. You want to do Gabriel synthesis? Gabriel. Gabriel? No, Gabriel. 
That's French name. That's French? Gabriel is some kind of guy I know. French name. You mean France is older than Cuba? <laughs> okay, and what we're going to use here, by the way, I forgot to tell you, in the last problem that I wrote here, you have primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary amines, yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is not a good synthetic pathway because then you'll have to separate them, yes? This is a way of making primary amines. I put it in parentheses there, yes? This A site synthesis gets you to primary amines. Pretty good. Gabriel synthesis is for primary amines as well. Okay, you can get easily primary amines from there. And it uses thalamide. Yes? So the idea here is you are going to treat this with a base. What type of base would I treat this with? Like a very strong base, or can I use like a Mickey Mouse base? This is a diketone here, yes? Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the pKa of this would be somewhat low. Okay? Karen was ready to say nice. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You asked me, I'm saying. Yeah, but you were ready to say it. I saw your mouth opening. <laughs> <laughs> so, with potassium hydroxide, what you are going to get here is... Hello? Nobody read the notes. What a disappointment. That's okay, I'll disappoint you next week when you get the test. So, now this is what? Hello? It's a nucleophile. It is a nucleophile that is going to attack what type of alkyl halides in general? Primary alkyl halides. Okay. And let's say you have. Okay. And you are going to get. You agree, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I have the primary, not primary, I mean, I have this nitrogen with the bond to the carbon. Now I need to get rid of that and this. How do I cleave that amide? How do I get rid of the amide? How do we go from an amide to a carboxylic acid or from a carboxylic acid to an amide? H3O plus, yes. I mean, I want to cut this here and I want to cut that there. That's a reaction from before. This is a reaction from before everybody's supposed to understand. This is a reaction from before everybody's supposed to understand. And the next reaction is one from before everybody's supposed to understand, which is H3O plus. And what is that going to give you? That is going to give you this stuff. Do we care about this? We don't care about this, right? This was a reagent that we used in order to get what we are looking for, which is Yes or no? I wrote here the mechanism for this uh, reduction of azide. I'm not going to put it on the test, okay? You should know it. But I'm not going to put it on the test. How many of you are going to learn? Reduction of what? Reduction with, of the azide. Okay. I have a question about the thing, the thing you have here. Has the product, beside having the, the ring in the carboxylic well, um, for the NH2, with the R, you have it as NH3. Does that like vary all the time? Or is it? I have what? I see an H, NH3 and an R for the plus. NH3? Um, on the Gabriel synthesis, the product. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
this is in the presence of an acid, yes? Mm -hmm. So in the presence of an acid, this is going to be protonated. But still, that's besides the point. Okay? Because I can deprotonate this and get what I want. What I want is a primary amine. So there's a primary amine. Not that from here, that will be protonated. So you're right. It will be protonated, but the product I want you to write is a primary amine. Okay? Yes? Okay. Primary amine. Gabriel synthesis gives you a primary amine. Okay, yes, it will be pronated, it's acidic conditions, but then that can be deprotonated, okay? During workup. So let's say I have this. CH through CH3. Yes? One hydrolysis is using the normal H3O plus. And if you use H3O plus on the test only, that's fine with me. And you can use, this reaction will be slow, and you can use hydrazine. And this reaction is, let's say, not fast, let's say slower and faster. Okay. But it'll get you to the same product. And I'm going to write the primary amine. Okay? Yes? This is one way using H3O plus. And this is another way of cutting this here. This nitrogen will do what? These nitrogens from hydrazine, what are they going to do? One of them is going to attack here, yes? Yeah. And then that's going to cleave, and then the other one is going to attack there. Okay? Mm -hmm. I think this test is going to be easy for this chapter. I'm not sure about the other chapter. Reductive ammunition. Now this reductive amination, you will have an amine and you will have a carbonyl. Okay? An amine with a carbonyl is going to give you what? An amine with a carbonyl is going to give you what type of reaction? What's What's the product? Okay. You, get, you can get an imine if it's a primary, yes. Uh, if it's a secondary, what are you going to get? The Okay. So you're going to get... Now is when you wake up. <laughs> 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 you work at night, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> she, she has a... She has a family. You know. uh, is that what you get? Mm -hmm. I know, I'm going to say it when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what I would get, yes? From there. And in order for me to get the amine, I would just need to reduce this. You would reduce this with reducing agents you normally use, but this reducing agent is a little bit different from before. This reducing agent still a hydride, yes, but it will be sodium cyanoborohydride or cyanoborane. Uh, okay, so this will look like this the boron with the CN and the hydride. And what this is going to do is. What 
type of a meat did that give you? Second. So let's say. So this thing that's just an H source. It's hydride, like sodium borohydride. Oh, yes. Like sodium borohydride. So you replace one of the hydrogens with a CN. Yes. The same. The source of hydride. So here's a ketone. Is it H3, Professor, or H2? What? H3 where? Mm -hmm. H2 on the second one, you have H2. This is three. All right. So here we have this. And let's say... Nitrogen with a 2H. The product will have. Yep, nitrogen. That nitrogen, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. With that on it. Uh -huh. And one what H. Else? The hydrogen. One H. So what do you get? CH3, 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 and CH3. No, 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 you can get a primary amine, you can get a secondary amine, and you can get a tertiary amine. This amine here is secondary. Yes. This amine here is tertiary. Tertiary. Okay. If you wanted an ammonium salt from that, okay, you wanted to put another alkyl group on it, what would you do? You would treat this with the alkyl halide, and you won't put it there. Yes. Questions about this?
relate the product to that. So this with this is going to give me what? Imine. 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 Imine or enamine? Yep. Imine. Yeah. And the imine will then be reduced, yes? Uh -huh. You can reduce it with reducing agents, yeah. hydrogen, palladium, but this is special for this reductive ammunition. It's not very aggressive. You can run this with water. <coughs> and what it's going to give you is a secondary. And hydrogen is here, yes? Yeah. CH3. With a CH3? H. And how many H's on this thing? Two. One, one. It's one. One H? Yeah. How did I make this from ammonia? Uh, I put this CH3 here from ammonia. And um, from ammonia and an alkyl halide? No. Ammonia and alkyl halide will give you a mess. You need to make a primary amine from what reactions? Gabriel synthesis. Gabriel synthesis and? Azide. Not, the purpose of that ammonia with that alkyl halide is you get a mess from there. So go back and you circle it and say mess. <laughs> so, but if you if you got millions of dollars, not like Donald Trump, right? <laughs> he might just win. He might, just win. he might win, but, Seriously? <laughs> but then again, Americans, they, you know, they shot with, that man be telling the truth, though, I ain't gonna lie. He's telling he, the truth? Yeah, he, Watch hey, he blunt, but that's what Americans don't like, though. No, not all of them, not all, no, I ain't saying that, I ain't saying Mexicans, all Mexicans rapists, but I'm just saying, he didn't say all of them, he said just some of them that's coming across the border, they, it happens. And he's reading it from statistics, actual statistics. So don't get mad at him. Get mad at the people who write the statistics. I'm not saying all of them are, though. I don't care what. I'm just saying. See? See? It's like, they get hot. Now, I'm going to put but the statistics again said that the American citizens commit more crime than the immigrants too. That's a. Hey, I want to go against it. I want to go against it. Yeah, so that's the same statistics. You know, the statistics say that uh, 82% of them are made up. Hey. Oh, why didn't she have hate? What's her name? What's your name? Huh? Did you forget something here? <laughs> what are you talking to? <laughs> to both of you. Oh. You forgot this, yes? To the missing ring? I'm surprised you didn't say, oh, Professor, you're missing the little ball inside of this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So. He lost a contract from Macy's and he lost everything, okay? So that guy's in yeah, That man still got money. He don't care. He has money. How do you know how much money he got? Watch him go bankrupt so he don't pay all the bills he owes. That's the smart thing to do. That's what 50 did. Huh? Hey, wait, what? The results of the poll was up. Really? Yeah. yeah, he's just trying to buy in the purpose. He's going to be the next president, isn't he? Nah, probably not. Socialism is the key. Socialism is the key to everything. No, that is the key. Huh? Okay, so what the product is here? What the product is? 
Gouch, this is a coma, okay? Thank you. I changed mine. Oh, gosh, you missed that one, bro. So, this one looks weird, yes? Before, I was giving you a carbonyl, yes? And now, I did not give you a carbonyl, I gave you an amine, but the reaction is still the same, yes? So, what we are going to do is. We are going to redraw whatever we have. Yes? That's the amine, yes? Yeah. And it got connected to this. What is this going to give that amine? It's one carbon, it's a source of one carbon, yes? Mm -hmm. It will form between this and this first. It's going to form the enamine. Amine. Amine? Amine. 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 I mine, okay, wow. I mine it. Okay, it's gonna form the imi. That's what we call it in America. <laughs> so what that's gonna give you is one CH3, okay? Yes? Let's say you wanted CH2, CH3 here, what would you add to this? You will add an aldehyde in which it has two carbons. CH here, I mean this would be one CH and then CH3 here. Yes? Uh -huh. yes. You don't get it? No. We don't have time to go It's America. It's America. Can't be working like this in America. <laughs> I don't understand what the problem is. What do you mean where are the CH3s coming from? You want to know what do you mean where they come from? You want to know, Marie? Why? Since when do you care? <laughs> yeah, ask me to. <laughs> okay, I said before, before we were doing this, okay? Instead of being this long thing, now the carbonyl is something short, but it's still, it's still going to form this type of thing to that carbon, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. It's going to form this with the R, with this whole thing there, yes? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And then this will be reduced, and when it's reduced, <coughs> yes? So, idea is, this is formaldehyde. Formaldehyde will give you here a CH3. If you use something with two carbons, it will give you here a CH2, CH3. Yes? And that's okay. Let's do it. That's the purpose of us doing this. Thank you. That's what I'm here for, okay? I will be here for another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, the idea here is attachment will be made here, yes? And that will become a what? CH2. 
CH2, CH3. Yes? Do that one down here. would have been 2CH3, that would have been what here? NH, CH3, yes? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Where did that come from? Okay, let's make this from ammonia. Let's make it from ammonia using anything you want. Say I begin with ammonia. Tell me, what do I put on top of this to get the product? First product I want is this. Hello? At what? 
The aldehydes, the CH3 and the uh, aldehyde. H plus. Yeah. And methyl aldehyde. Yeah. This? Yeah. Yeah. That will give me that. No, that won't give you that. But it's on the way, yes? What do you have to do after that? Reduce it. I will give you that. And then I will treat this with guys, what am I going to treat that with? I'm going to treat this once again with H plus and this long carbonyl, yes? And then reduce that. What's that going to give you over there? Oh, no, all the way on this. Oh, it's going to take the CH2, CH2, get it then, the carbon acid comes, and then... Yeah, and then this one will give you that. Yeah, and then So when you see this, what does that tell you? Gabriel, yes. Gabriel, yeah. Gabriel. There's a, a base. Uh -huh. What if they don't give you that base, let's say on a standardized exam, and they give you some other base, and they give it, and they give you this, what do you expect to do? Abstract the photon. Same thing. Right? Yeah. Same thing. It doesn't have to be only the base I give you. <laughs> So here's that base, yeah. it's going to pull that proton off, it's going to attack that Gabriel uh -huh. synthesis, gives you a primary amine. Uh -huh. Yes? Primary amine. After this, yes? Yeah. And what other can I use that is not as slow as this? Um, H2, H2, Hydrazine, yes? N2H4 yeah. and H2 and H2. Which is faster, but no, don't worry. This is the one you guys are familiar with. So we do this, and then we treat it with this. What's going to happen? When I have this primary amine and I treat it with this, it's going to form enamine mm -hmm. yeah. here. And I will reduce the enamine to form that. what that is. Mm -hmm. I redraw this business here, <coughs> and the amine will be here. This amine here, if it were NH3, it will be just here, NH2, yes? But it has an attachment to it, and the attachment is that. Can I do that using azi synthesis? How would it change if I use azi? Why are you guys painting this stuff? You mean you're looking for the answer in the notes? 
Well, you don't know what A side is. <laughs> so what do we do? Let's say I want to use A side. What's the first step? Uh, so, so, yeah. Check if this is okay. Yeah. I start with that. Sodium A side, yes? Mm -hmm. What is that going to do is? Mm -hmm. It's going to put here. And three. And three. N3 is not what I want. I have to do what to that N3? Reduce it. Do I add water to it? Enough? No. I got to reduce, reduce it, it first. with a reducing agent. Uh -huh. The reducing agent is? LA. 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 Lithium aluminum hydride. Okay, this lithium aluminum hydride will generate a carbon ion somewhere, yes? Yeah. Uh, not a carbon ion. Uh, a negative charge on the nitrogen. What are we going to treat after that? Water. Proton source is what I care proton about. Source. There is many different proton sources, okay? Water is one of them. H2. A little bit of acid is another. And then up to here, what do I have now? That primary amine, yes? What am I going to do next? It's called reductive amination, yes? Tell me if this is correct. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes or no? Yep. Now after this in the notes you have aniline, yes? that does not undergo Friedel-Crafts acylation. I'm not gonna do it, okay? Uh, it does not undergo Friedel-Crafts acylation. Your lab instructor taught you that, yes? Yes. Did you copy this already? Uh, no? Okay. Now tell me, uh, when can you do uh, Friedel-Crafts alkylation or acylation with nitrate on the ring? No. No, no because they are deactivated. The okay? Yeah. Now they had this in the book now again. We did it when we had the chapter for electrophilic aromatic substitution. I'm not going to put it on this test, okay? You have to know for the final, but not for this test. Do you want to do Hoffman elimination? We did it already? <laughs> You said hit it. Right? You said she said hit it. it. She hit it. You said we did it. So, Professor, the Frito Craft is never going to this test. Just one. The Frito Craft? Craft. The Frito Craft? No, it's never going to this test. Hey, he had a long session, session man. <laughs> you, you missed last class. Hey, he had a long session. Making now, <laughs> making hits. It's for the welfare of everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I, make fun of me. I, I make fun of me too, yes? Is that an L? No, what's this there? That's a green. Are you serious? You seriously don't know? It's an F. This is an F. Really? This is a, uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is an M. What? That's a T. In other words, if you wouldn't listen, you wouldn't understood. I said a Now I know. Hoffman. Hoffman, no, Hoffman. So, Hoffman elimination. What does an elimination give you? Double bond. Double bond? It gives you an all key, yes? Yeah. This elimination here, what is it going to give you? An alkene. You have eliminations when you have alcohols, and you have eliminations when you have amines. But the amine, like let's say this amine here, is that NH2 a good leaving group? No. No, it's not a very good leaving group. We can make this a good leaving group by adding an alkyl halide that will do what to this here? 
the alkyl halide is going to do what to this? Thank you, it's going to alkylate the nitrogen, yes? Uh -huh. This will be the nucleophile that's going to attack the alkyl halide and put a group here. And it's going to do it again. And it's going to do it again. It's going to do it as many times as this has nitri uh, hydrogens or lone pairs on it. Okay? And once it's there, all you need to do is treat this with a base. And the base is going to pull a proton from here, and that will eliminate as the tertiary okay. amine. Yes? Yeah, I like that. So Unsaturated. we are going to treat this with, we did uh, what do we call this? Oh, we did it. No, it's in the it's Excess. Excess, let's say, I kill halide. Okay? And the base of choice is silver oxide. conversation in my class, Maria? <laughs> she doesn't even care. You learned this already? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is, oh no, let's do it first like this. What would this give you? It's going to give you CH3 here. It's going to give you another CH3 and another uh, CH3. Yes. Okay. And that's positively charged. What is it with, with silver what? You're not paying attention. I saw you look in the back. Stop looking around. Look here. You still looking around? <laughs> what were you looking at? She keeps talking to me and I tell her to go. Oh, <laughs> Two her under the bus. <laughs> I know you understand this very well. This heavy, all this stuff for you guys. Okay. So next, who had a question? No, I don't bend over, man. Too much. Keep the report background. Yeah, sometimes I do that lives. Yeah, you're right. So, in the first step, we use that, the base, and. We can use whatever, proton source. Oh, and, man. and what are we going to get from there? What about the heat? Yeah, heat too. You want heat? Yeah, we want heat. Okay. She wants heat? Yeah, eliminations are favored when you heat things up, yes? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> what was the product on the one you just <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm going to remember? No, I don't think that's right. Yeah. I don't think that's right. It's, it's the second way, way, way of doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. It is right. He just showed how to do it with Eli. Professor, can you come here for a second? Okay, guys. Now, oh, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you. This this may be incorrect. Okay. 
Look, erase, erase what you had from before. Everything? Erase this. What's wrong with me? I'm in a bad mood today? Good. I feel good. I know, it's been good. I feel good. I'm a little stressed out because of the amount of stuff I have to cover here, so. Okay. <laughs> right next to this. Right next to this. Hoffman elimination provides the least substituted alkene. I don't know if I wrote it on that paper. Is it on that paper? It is. The least substituted alkene. It does not follow of rule from before. Okay. Does not follow size of rule. So when I did that, I messed it up. Now, so if we had a choice, the double bond that we would get would not be this double bond, yes? Mm -hmm. Would be the double bond that has less substitutions on it. So it would have been that double bond, yes? Mm -hmm. So let's do, let's do another one. Don't ask, don't say anything. <laughs> okay. You have a question, wait until we're done with this one. So what's the product? <clears throat> Double bond, where? These conditions, when you treat amine with this, you will form so alkylated amine all the time, and then the base will eliminate. And it will be eliminated from the least substituted side, yes? Which side is that? The right. Well, this methyl and this methyl is the same, yes? Yeah. So, but let's say it's from this methyl, it's still the same thing, okay? Either a double bond there or a double bond there. It's the same thing, okay? From the least substituted side. Next reaction is running a nitrous acid. Sodium nitrite and HCl or H2SO4. And that's going to produce something that I call because my professor. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, before you go, um, only one of the methyl groups leaves. <coughs> no, the methyl group did not leave. But left is a nitrogen. But you just add the double bond to one Yeah, it's an elimination. Uh -huh. It doesn't eliminate from here, it eliminates either from here or from here, but it's the same thing. Okay. So the methyl group does not leave, no. This is the methyl group still there. I just thought the double bond would be like maybe toward the end of the right where it must You thought the double bond would be where? On the all around the right. That's where I put my double bond. Yeah, here? right there. That's where I put it. So that there was at least some. No, but the amine is here, my friends. Oh. Okay. The amine is here. It eliminates. From, it has to eliminate beta to this, yes? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is alpha. The beta proton is going to get pulled off. The double bond can either be, the double bond can be here, here, or here. It can never be here, or here, or there. No. Okay. This is sodium nitrite, yes? With HCl or H2SO4, it will give you something like this. Now that. 
doesn't doesn't mean much. So I want you to write this like this. This is the way my professor wrote it when I went to school 50 years ago. He wrote it mono. Homo. No, mono. Homo. That's nothing to do with being homogeneous. I do remember what my professor said. Oh no, I can actually picture him writing it on the board. Okay? So, this is what Hono is going to do. It's going to make dialkyl zonium salt. Okay? That's why she don't understand any of this. Oops. <laughs> so, here's Hono, yes? Which you can make from sodium and nitrite and some type of acid. Yes? <coughs> and what that is going to give you is that. Okay. It will be our group with the nitrogen. And that will be plus there. Now, what can this be used for? If I treat this with copper halide, this with the N2. So N2 is basically a way to get something else. If you treat this with... Professor Hold on. You get that R from the Hono and then what? Why do you put the two ends in the trombone and the What does that mean? What does that have to do with this right here? Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> Sophia probably wants to know what happened here. Yes. Here's an amine, yes? And you are going to treat that with mono that has nitrogen, oxygen, and OH on that, yes? That is going to be a source of this. I don't know if I wrote it there. Did I write it? I wrote it? That is going to be a source of this with either a positive charge on the oxygen depending on the bonds that it has. Either on the oxygen or on the nitrogen. And this here is going to attack the nitrogen. Okay? I don't care. What I care about is NH2 with HONO will give you N2. Yes? And N2 is a leaving group. And you are going to treat this with a copper and X could be one of the followings. X could be I, Cl, Br, or Cn. <coughs> so when I, once I treat this, it will be substituted. So the product you are going to get is Rx. This is mainly used for aerial, the ones that have a benzene ring. Okay, so let's do a problem. We have that. First step, hold on. Second step. Copper bromide, what does that give you? That's right. All that difficult stuff for them. Mm -hmm. 
What does that give you? Crop on the top. So up. Okay. You have here. What would that give you first with this? N two. Two. Yes. yes. Yeah. You use that. As a, as a way to put some other group there. Yes, so far, yeah. the ones using this copper, and it's not organocuprate or organocopper, is one of those. It gives you CN. Yeah. And then when you treat it with this, it gives you a copper. Benzoic acid. acid. It is benzoic acid. Very good. I like that. So let's say. Anyway, so first you have N2, then you add the, the copper and the CN. What? First you have, you use whole milk, you get N2, then you add the copper and the CN.